How do we look? Can we see our nails? Let me go tilt it a little. Hi, Kelsey. 15 people already here. Hey, guys. The early birds. Do you see comments on here? Yeah, they'll pop up on the left. left. Is this a decent setup? I'm in a totally new spot today. I'm at my parents' house. And my sister is joining me. Hey, Hi. Kelsey. And our little chihuahua, this is Lily, if you are unfamiliar with her. Oh, I forgot to post the thing on the Manny fam. They're going live. What don't. happens if you I don't this? know. Let's see, if I X out, will it cancel the live? Darn it. Will it cancel or can you hop back in? I don't know. Hello. Hey, Rosa. Rosa. You made it. Okay, I'm a little shiny. We've had quite the I'm day. I'm red. I didn't know you were going live. I'm sorry, Ava. I try to let everybody know. We're good. How are you? Olivia, welcome. Hi. Darn. If I X out of the live. Hi, I'm Catherine. Sorry, I should have introduced you. This is okay. Catherine. Catherine and Lily. And this is Lily. Let me lower the light a little so we look less shiny. Oh my god, Hannah thinks we look alike. <laughs> Never heard that before. Do we look a little shiny? Or less, uh, shiny? less shiny. That's good. Okay. Should I order some Olive and June nail polishes? Oh guys, yeah. we're going to talk all about Olive and June. And my sister's going to do an Olive and June mani tonight, I think. I might as well. Oh, Dana's here. That's mom's Dana. Hi. Me and Dana are buddies. Mom's a little jealous, I think. <laughs> <laughs> my mom's not even home tonight. Hey, so... Emma, yay, I'm so excited. I'm so ticked, I forgot to post on. I think it's whatever. I'm just gonna let it Do go. Do you wanna try it? Well, I don't wanna end the live. But can you hop back on? I don't know, I've never done it. Where is it? She's out on the town. She went to, where, beer garden? Yeah. She went with my dad she to some friends. beer garden, just living it up. Ooh, what's your Hi. snack today? I don't wish know. we had a snack. We are so hungry. <laughs> we haven't eaten, I haven't eaten since like noon. Did you eat anything today? I eat. Hi, Lil. I sit, know. Sit. I went to Subway. Oh, jealous. I had a waffle and some bacon and eggs this morning, but Juliana. Hi. This, this is so cool. This is cool. This dog's gonna whine the whole time. Should I put her in my lap or? If you want. Lily's a little needy. She likes to be held. I don't want her to fall. It looks so red. Okay, I could paint with her on my nails. All right, let's like slowly get started. You can paint with her on your nails. See, <laughs> I get so flushed. I can paint with her on my lap. You and your sister. Thank oh, you. Thanks. She's my little sis. Yeah, it's a little Aww. trio today. Okay, I need to remove my polish. You already did. I just am so scared she's gonna fall off. Oh, you like my sweatshirt? Thank you. It's actually from Victoria's Secret. I like it too. I don't it's have It's like one of those Victoria's Secret sport ones. Amanda, help. Who's this? Joanna? Sometimes I can't read fast enough. Something about gel removers. Uh oh. Yvonne. I wish I could make the font bigger. Um, do I like to paint my nails too? I'm not really great at it. This is not going to be a good Amanda idea. definitely got the nail painting jeans. <laughs> Just watch her for a second. But this, um, I'm 25. Where's this thing at? came with the Olive and June. The poppy, that's what it's called. The poppy. So I'm going to try this and hopefully I'll be better at it. I can't paint my right hand like at all. I'm going to paint my nails in OPA Shine for me. Ooh. Karina says hi, Amanda. Hi. Okay, we're back. We put Lily on a big bean bag, so hopefully she's comfortable there. And I'll stay put. Because. I have so much hair. You have way more hair than me. See, I got the nail painting gene, and Catherine got the good hair gene. She'll beg to differ, but I have like yeah. no hair, and she has so much. I'm so jealous. Oh good, Lily seems to like it there. Guess. No. <laughs> you don't like this game. I just think it's funny. Sorry, I meant that I removed my UV gel nails and my nails are super thin. I'm tempted to redo them just to cover these ugly nails. Any recommendations? Post gel, I did that whole 
like post gel rehab with this. I brought this today, the Nail Aid, the Biotin Ultimate Strength. That's so good for rehabbing nails post gel or dip. Do you still use acetone to remove your nail polish? Um, not normally, but I'm using it right now because it goes quicker. <laughs> I have been using this, but it just takes so much longer. Bittersweet by Nina. Ooh, I love that one. Or Bordeaux by Yassi. Those are two favorites. The color I have on now looks just like Bordeaux and I really, really loved it this past week. So I kind of want to go with that. But if you want something a little sweeter, Nina's Bittersweet is like gorgeous. Sit, mama, sit. <laughs> really, really Come wants to be part of the fun. Relax, mama. Here, you want to set my sweatshirt? Maybe that's cozier. <laughs> I always feel like I need music in the back to get so quiet. I can put music on. Oh, wait, no, you can't, right? Yeah, we get the darn copyright. All right, I want you to give this video a thumbs up if your significant other or anyone else in your house is watching football and you're tuning into this because it's way more exciting than football. <laughs> because I am so happy to be painting my nails and not watching football right now. I literally haven't talked to... Mr. Daniel all day. He's been tuned into the games. He's like in his glory that football's back. And That's so funny. It's just not my thing. It's dead. <laughs> You're already removed. Do you need to shape them or anything? My nails are so bad. Can I borrow this? Yeah. Hi, Addie. For some reason, the cotton room. What do you use the cotton rounds for? Removing? Like regular polish or gel? I always wash my hands after I remove my polish just to get rid of all that stuff. Um, I think I have always liked it. I remember painting my nails back in like, I think the first manicure I ever got was in the fourth grade. And then I started doing them myself. I need to remove my gel. Ooh. Sorry, Lou. Hi, Catherine. It must be fun. It is oh. fun. It's fun it's to so have fun. someone on the live because it's kind of awkward manning the, the live by yourself. Amanda has like a whole salon set up here. Here? I brought yeah. over some of my stuff. Sit, Mama, you're fine. She has so much nail stuff. I'm keeping you from housework. Oh, Elba. Elba, I'm so sorry. Elba, did you see Lily? Say hi to Elba. She loves you. Elba's one of your favorites. Lily's so cute. Mine is actually, oh, Big Brother. Nice. I never got into that, but it kind of looks like a crazy show. Yeah. Say hi, Elba. Lily wants to be like. We're teaching Lily English. Oh. She'll be the first chihuahua. I'm just so scared she didn't jump or What's slip. What's the matter? You want to see with me? We got to get our nails done, Lil. Relax. I don't want her to fall. We're kind of high up. How to keep your polishes not gloopy. Uh, try to avoid like pulling the brush in and out too many times. I know that's kind of hard when you're painting your nails, but don't let too much air get in there. Um, and then honestly, I just find that certain polishes last better than others. Also, I learned a trick. Ooh, share. That if your nail polish is like really old and gets really gloppy, you're supposed to put like a couple drops of acetone. And I have it. heard that. I think I've tried it. They also make nail thinners, like polish thinners. That's Just meant to thin out gloopy polish. This I would only do it on like really old nail polish. Mama, I don't know. I want to like put her in the drawer All almost. Right, I'll take her. I think she wants. I think you want your other sister. Oh. <laughs> That's fine. I'm okay with that. Say hi. All right. I don't like to buff my nails, but they're a little... The tops are peeling just a little bit. Hola, como estas, nenita? <laughs> sí, hola. Hola, amigas. She's very needy. She is needy. Okay. It's not bad. I don't think my nails need too much shaping. We're going short. We've been short for a couple weeks now, which is a refreshing change. You recently went short too, right? I did. Post dip, Catherine had a very poor dip experience. I told her not to do it. I know, so I was doing dip for a while. I don't know if anyone on here does dip. 
but we have some diffusers. I was like doing dip because it lasted like over a month. Um, Lily's fourteen, <laughs> but um, and then I stopped, and my nails were so thin. And then after quarantine, after they grew out, I was like, well, let me just do dip one more time, and it was awful. It started lifting. My hair was getting stuck. It was awful. That's the worst. I wish I could have a dog. I'm so allergic. Oh no. One of my nails broke, so now they're all bag of short. That's the worst. That's what happens. When one goes, they all have got to go. And it's nice to have a dog. Lily's my parents' dog. She's our sister, so she's not my full responsibility, but I can borrow her whenever I want. Hi, Lauren. Hi, oh, Lauren. <laughs> Lauren always pops in. She's so good. She's half Mexican after this. Yeah. What kind of dogs do you guys have? Can I use the buffer thing? Yeah, do you want this one or? That one's yeah. a little rougher, but so that's probably oh, better. Lily's gonna be a pain. I know, she's difficult. You don't wanna lay in the bean bag? Maybe I can keep her like this. French Bulldog, cute. Ooh, Jeez. Golden Retriever, I love Goldens. Australian Labradoodle. Oh, Our brother has cute. an Australian something. What is she? A mini a Australian Shepherd. Mini Australian Shepherd. She's so cute. She is cute. Ooh, she's doing glitter today. Yay. Love a good glitter. Actually, Olive and June, I have a couple glitters from them that they sent. All right, I'm gonna rinse my nails. And German Shepherd in a Doxy mini pin. Aw. in lily hair now she's staying put okay so Catherine's gonna do a full olive and june manicure today and i'm very excited for her because i told her it doesn't require a base coat can i borrow that up here yeah the best part about olive and june is that you don't need a base favorite brand of polish there's so many oh yay bittersweet you won't regret it that's one of those polishes you just like love um, some of my favorites are Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. Lately, I've been loving Olive in June, I have to say. Oh my gosh, I always used to want a Maltese. That's what Mrs. Hurley had at church. Mm. Do you remember that dog? No. Anyway, Olive in June requires two coats of polish and a top coat. No base. It's so, so easy to use. And I cannot believe how well it lasted. I did my nails last Friday morning and just took them off right now. Up until Friday, they had no chips at all. Yesterday, I like scrubbed the tub and we were playing tennis and we went to hit golf balls we were very active and my nails took a beating but other than that they held up so well like for a full week um so i would highly recommend the olive in june the colors are so pretty how do you two some moids oh my gosh that's what um they're big right mandy used to have one i think they're big yeah they're huge but she always so always puts them in her pictures in your yeah. um manny pictures right i love them and they're so cute. Okay, I pull my little tools out. What's your go-to nail polish, Amanda? That's a tough question. <laughs> I just really have a go-to color. Mauve is my go-to color. But I would say probably Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. Mom. Oh. So we're both starving. I'll be right back. And we were hoping our parents yeah. could bring us some food on the way home. Because yeah. they're out and about. Where are you guys? That would be very exciting. We're so hungry. Oh, they're heading home now. Perfect. Did everyone stop and grab us something? Yeah, do you mind? We're doing a live Mandy. Do you mind going <laughs> to the street? Yes, and just coming in clutch. What do you want? Where are they going to go? Okay, we'll text you. Duchess, right? That's perfect. Duchess. Cool. Awesome. Bye. Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. Yay! I know. We just have to text her what we want. I might just go for a big D cheeseburger. Same. Whole meal. Fries and all. Okay. Um, I don't know what color to do. Catherine might inquire for some help. Does Catherine have a go-to color? Mm. Morgan Taylor. Oh, I love put on your dancing shoes. That one's so pretty. What's, I don't know if I have a go-to color. I'm so bad at painting my nails <laughs> that, I mean, I guess I usually do like a mauve. But you look great in red. When you get a red mani. Yeah, but I hate doing red because it turns my fingers red. 
and bring me food. <laughs> Danny, you gotta come over. I keep telling her we should all go out. I know. Um, girls' night. We're in the basement, like near the garage. So when they come home, they'll be trumping through our manny. <laughs> all right. Do you want help voting on your polish tonight, or did you decide? Are you debating colors? I think I want to do the darker. That one, yeah. This one. Cat's playing with those. Here's the other one. I don't know. I pulled, so OPI sent me a few of their like fallish colors. I will do my nail art. Ooh, good luck. Um, I don't, I don't know. I'm not like loving. I have to swatch. Initially I was thinking a blue Manny just cause I haven't done that in a while, but these are kind of cool autumn shades. Maybe this one. We will try. Catherine's set and she's gonna use the poppy. I'm excited to see how you like the poppy. Me too. Is everyone on here like experienced nail painters? They're all pros in their own right. I'm not. Ooh, I kind of like the blue. Let's do two blue fingers, one orange. Ooh, fun. Yeah, since I wasn't gonna be home, I was like, all right, I've gotta bring plenty of polish options because I could be in the mood for one thing, one minute. Can you talk more about your thoughts on the kit overall for Olive and June? I could Love talk it. about Olive and June for days. I was talking with one of you in DMs this week who hated their polish and I felt so bad because I had such a positive experience. Um, she's sending the whole kit back. I did not have any kind of negative experience with their stuff at all. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I love the colors. I love the formula. I love the brush. Personally, I don't use the poppy, but it's a great little tool if you need assistance. Shocked with how long it wore. A true week, seven to eight days. Um, I wasn't obsessed with the top coat at first. I thought it was a little like tacky, like gummy when you applied it. And when it dried, I, I didn't feel like it fully dried. But once it did, super, super glossy. Um, my thumb had some bubbles. I don't know why it had bubbles, um, but then they settled. So they didn't dry with bubbles, which was good. Uh, yeah, I'll show you an Olive and June brush. I'm here. noticing it's really thick. That's a good shade. Which one is that? I don't know. So it's not super, it's not super wide, but it's more wide than say like an Essie, like a long and narrow brush. The cuticle oil and pot remover. Um, their cuticle oil, I'm going to be honest, is not my favorite. It's a little too, it's not very oily, I guess. Um, and the pot remover I haven't used yet. I went to CVS and the Essie nail polish costed 10. Yeah, Essie can be expensive. I hope your brother's doing okay. Um, Essie polishes can be really expensive, but they are worth it, especially the gel. All right, we're going to swatch these oranges. I just don't think I'm an orange nail girl but it's hard oh it actually looks darker this one is like a burnt how do you ladies feel about the stickers they seem so odd and flat there's a person that offers them something nail stickers is that what it was yeah i feel like i can get behind nail stickers <laughs> i've never done them but oh sorry that's okay i kind of i like the idea of them do we have to text mom i did okay what drink do you want actually diet coke <laughs> Okay, here are my two top runners. I mean, you look like Let's Go Mets. LGM. I'm kind of feeling the blue. I don't know. I never do blue nails. And I filmed a video this week sharing some of my favorite transitional polishes from summer to fall. And I, I actually included, not both of these. I think I just included the blue. I'm right-handed. Yeah, we're both right-handed. That's why I'm so bad at nails. I think I might do the blue, guys. Yeah, a few blue. Oh, thanks, Addison. Blue. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sold. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you, if you vote for the blue. That'll help me see in real time. Um, is this Yank My Doodle? Is that what it's called? I, no, I did this one. This is... No, I think I did this one. My Italian is a little rusty. Are these both Italian? Oh, this one is too. Is I think, this an Italian collection? Yeah, I think it is an Italian collection. Not even lying. This, this is complimentary wine. This one's have your panettone and eat it too. Ooh. All right, we've got some votes for blue. I think that's a good option because I never do blue. Well, I'm glad. 
good. I love having guests. When I first started these lives, I thought it would be really fun to invite guests on, but we were all in quarantine, so the only guest I could have was Dan, and he didn't want to be on the lives, nor did he want to paint his nails. But now I think that... Amanda should do Dan's nails. Oh, I tried. We tried to do a man e video. And huh, that's a good idea. It was, and I started to file his nails. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Mid-video, freaked out. He doesn't like nail files. So I was like, that's kind of a huge part of the manicure. <laughs> so we stopped filming. I didn't want to like traumatize him. But no, I don't think he's really into the manny, which Guys, is fine. I did my first hand. Oh, you're way ahead of me. Good job. I know, but I'm a lot slower than you. No, it looks awesome. The ink my doodle if you ever get it is good fall orange. Ooh, that's a great idea. I love when you could just top a polish with glitter. And I'm so nervous to do my right hand. Well, you have the poppy, so you have to I report know. how the poppy does. Poppy. I'm so bad. See, I'm a little bummed that I have to do a base coat today. I'm going to do the Biotin Ultimate Strength. I haven't done this in a while. When's your next meeting? Guys, we're living in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm doing... Every like two to three weeks, I like to get a live mani up. I feel like weekly is just a lot. Um, but hmm. every two weeks or so. How do you find out the name of these? Where's the name? It's on the bottom. They're just letters, initials. Oh, this one's JJ. JJ is a cool one. Like cool name. All right, we are going with a base. You guys are gonna hear my stomach grumble really soon. Feel it. Ooh, what's your nail color for your wedding? That is going to be a big decision, and I'm going to inquire with you guys. I'm going to, we're going to have to are do a do little like test. A light pink? Yeah, I think so. I think I'm just going to keep it simple, classic, nothing too bold. Kelly did um, white, which I thought was cool. Mm, One of like my good that. friends got white nails for her wedding, but I think for me, I'm going to do. Some form of, definitely a gel. Probably like OPI bubble bath, maybe. Okay. Yeah, JJ's a good one. That's one of my favorites from this collection. This poppy thing is kind of hard. It's not yeah. working. Oh, I, I know I should do a bright pink <laughs> or a red. I just get nervous because I'm not good. I'm not good at painting my nails. This poppy thing is kind of hard. Only because... You have to like keep turning it to make sure that the brush is facing the right way. I have a fuzz in here. There must be a trick. Yeah. yeah, you do it with like your thumb on the flat side, right? Yeah, but like when you first put it on. Yeah, you gotta get it in, in the right spot. There but it we twists. Go. It shouldn't move. No, it doesn't twist, but I have to twist it. Hi, Mama. You want a manicure? A pop <gasps> Should we do Lily's nails? Oh, there's a fuzzy in my brush. I bet there's like safe puppy polish. We should ask. I party with Be uh, Bruce Wayne. She knows all the healthy dog products. Oh. Man, my base coat is not coming out good. I never do the best manis on the live because I don't feel like I'm fully paying attention, but that's okay. This is like so nerve-wracking. Isn't it? <laughs> I'm so not good at this. No, you're doing fine. You're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> oh, neighbor, who's that? My neighbor painted her dog's nails and it was adorable. Oh, that's so cute. I want to give Lily. Lily's like a cuter bruiser. Yeah, she is a cuter bruiser. She's the girl version of bruiser. Yeah, but bruiser was like always in sweaters and stuff. I need, honestly need my glasses. I said, Amanda, I like the blue. Yay, I'm glad. I'm excited about the blue. I'm never in the mood to do blue, so I'm gonna run with it while I'm in. It's gonna look really good with your ring. I know, I think the ring just makes every color look better, to be honest. That's true. It does. Okay, I'm so hungry. So, we have, like, we had a very exciting day. This oh, is yeah. why I wanted to include Catherine on the live tonight, because we have some exciting news. Thank you. We're so excited. So. Amanda's gonna be a bride. Catherine's my maid of honor. I didn't ask her in she any, keeps saying that, in she any never fancy heard. way, but she knows it. Chris Jenner, yep. Oh, speaking of Chris Jenner, can you guys believe that um, freaking Kardashians is over? Oh my gosh, wait, is Dana still on here? <laughs> 
I heard that Kris Jenner might be on Housewives of Beverly Hills. Which would just, I don't know if that's the best or worst thing to ever happen to the franchise. Well, I heard they got rid of Denise Richards to afford Kris Jenner. She Jenner's. quit, I think. Yeah, Dana's still here. <laughs> Dana, what do you think? Do you think Chris is going to be on Beverly Hills? If I was she Jane. went to Kyle's party. If I was Denise. What's your favorite color in the fall line? Of Olive and June. Um, honestly, I just like darker colors for fall. And they really don't have many dark colors. It's a great transitional set or collection if you're looking for polishes for this specific time of year. But I have to say this one, this dark one, SC. I wore this last week and absolutely loved it. It was beautiful. It's nearly identical to Essie's Bordeaux or any of the other like wine colors out there. But this I think is my favorite. This is a close second LD. It's a really pretty mauve. And the one Catherine's doing, JJ. Keely heard that Chloe's gonna do a spinoff. I heard that Chloe's pregnant. That uh, where did you hear this? Baby. Where did you hear this? Um, you know who told me? Jordan. Really? I have not heard she, this anywhere. Yeah. Like, Does she have intel? You posted on the Manny fam. Um, no, I think she was just talking about it with her hairdresser. <laughs> I haven't went to Beverly Hills in a minute. It might be an interesting addition. That would yeah. be a great addition. I think I would start watching Housewives again if Chris Jenner was on. Do you have to wait a while in between coats? Uh, not too trick? long. The longer you wait, the better just because the polish like fully dries. But So you all wait a little. Um, okay, so back to our exciting life mm. update announcement because we got sidetracked. So today, Catherine and I recorded the first episode of our podcast. So we have a podcast coming out. It's something we wanted to do for a really long time. And we were trying to pick a name and get everything situated. And we finally did. Yeah. So we recorded our first episode earlier today. Everyone's going to have to bear with me. Amanda has a little more practice. I'm so awkward. No, you're not. No, you're I'm not. I'm so awkward. Not at but all. But it's fine. The podcast was honestly kind of your idea, no? Yeah, but I don't have any practice. So I'm really awkward, but like, it's fine. We love listening to podcasts and we yeah. thought that it'd be such a cool thing to do together. And um, we FaceTime like all the time. Just at night, we'll be on FaceTime for like an hour, two hours, three hours. And we're like, why don't we bring these conversations to a podcast? Because we always get onto some really interesting, funny, crazy topic. And I don't know, a little girl chat, like sister time is kind of necessary for everyone. So we wanted to invite you into those private conversations. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping the episode's up, what, Tuesday? Yeah. We're, we're shooting, yeah, we're shooting for, Tuesday. for Tuesday, but we have an Instagram. If you want to check it out and stay up to date and we'll announce like the official first episode there. Oh, the name of the podcast. Oh yeah. That's kind of the oh, best yeah. part. That's why I wanted to announce it tonight. So the name of the podcast, it's really hard to name a podcast. It is really hard. It's really hard to name anything and it doesn't seem like it is, but it is. Get it, Bunny. Addison. God, you're so not Aww, awkward. Thanks, Ella. <laughs> that was the best. I'll um, get better. No, she wasn't awkward at all. You were great. Everyone just has to bear with me. No, it's fine. You have to bear with both of us. It's so funny because I was like, oh, it'll be fine. And then we were doing it. I was like, oh, it is like more intimidating than I thought it would be. We had to try very hard not to talk to a phone or a microphone. Yeah. Just talk to each other. It'll be on the podcast app. It'll be on. It should be distributed everywhere. So... The platform we recorded it on is supposed to distribute it to, um, like, Apple iTunes, Spotify, Spotify, all that. So, hopefully. So, you can find I – I don't know if it's even on Spotify yet because we haven't published the episode yeah, yet. I couldn't find it. So, you can check us out on Instagram because that's where we'll keep you updated and let you know where it's live. Our podcast is called <laughs> – Imperfectly Polished. So it's kind of a play on nails, but also just, you know, being a woman in this world. We're all imperfectly, we're all imperfectly perfect, but um, we thought polished was a fun, a fun little play on words. So that is the adorable name. official name. Thank you. We really liked it. When we finally came up with it, we're like, that's a really cool idea. 
we're really excited. We have a lot of ideas for it. So cute. Yay, Olivia, I hope you do tune in. Um, we're excited. It's a lot of just chatter like this, honestly, but on a podcast. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll bring guests. Maybe we'll have series. Maybe we'll mm -hmm. do, for now, we're just going to do a weekly check-in and kind of invite you to our little girl time. So I'm excited, like very excited. Okay, my second coat looks a lot better than my first. Second always, this is the first coat. It looks kind of sheer. Oh my God, my fingers, <laughs> they look like little sausages. <laughs> I think it's darker. A little more true. This is JJ. Love. You're, uh, I'm working with this bold blue. I'm really liking the blue though. Yeah, the so blue far. looks so nice. How cute, so proud. Aw, so really excited. it's an exciting year. There's a lot going on, but that's good. I'm someone who like thrives when I'm busy. What about you? Yeah, me too. I feel like when I have more on my plate, I'm more organized and focused. When I have less on my plate, I'm just lazier. Yes, same. I procrastinate more. Totally agree. tips on making nails look less frumpy when you have short fingers and small nail beds that is totally me amanda ah. how do i do that <laughs> i don't know how you do that that's a great question that's a really good video topic too now that you say that i feel like a lot of people ask that um I, amanda taught me which was like a little nerve-wracking at first was to switch to the almond nail shape when they're short no just like to grow them out and do oh. Oh my God, thank you. These my nails look amazing. They do. You're a pro. You oh my gosh. I have small nail beds and my fingers are so like, I don't know, they're just like stubby. Um, but Amanda told me to grow them out and make them almond shape. And that helped a lot. I'm a huge fan of the almond. I think almond nails look so good and if you've never tried them you're probably like no they won't work on me but i bet you they would and they have to like grow on you they do because it is an adjustment it's a big change but when my nails are short i prefer them square or scoval so for your question making your nails look less what was the word frumpy yeah um i think just a good shape and that can be square or round whatever you're more comfortable with um and then a clean manicure just a clean glossy manicure keep your cuticles hydrated so they're not like really dry um and your nails will look so much better than you would ever imagine okay mine my first coat is done but i'm definitely gonna have to clean up okay here's one coat of the blue wow this is so out of my comfort zone i don't think i'd ever do this color on really long nails this is a good short nail color for me this is lights lacquer woman I like Kathleen Lights. Have you ever watched her on YouTube? No. She's really cute. What is she? Uh, like a beauty YouTuber. Progress update on your cuticle adventure. It's coming. It's mm. coming. Oh, two questions. So we switched manufacturers, which wasn't the worst thing in the world, but I'm waiting for the formula and the changes to all be made, but it's coming. I was really hoping for a launch before the holidays, but I'm very prepared, like mentally and emotionally prepared mm. to push it till January, 2021, just to have like everything in place because there's a lot of moving parts and I don't want to like oh, half ass it. It's like really, it's my baby. Catherine, share your Instagram account. Oh, it's um, K Bellantoni with three L's. Catherine's not much of a grammar, but I'm not. she's taking over our perfect, I have to get used to saying it, our imperfectly polished account. So she'll be posting a ton yeah. over there. But you're welcome to share your. Are you gonna do polishes and nails too, or just the oil? Yeah, you wanna see my nails closer to the screen? Oh my gosh, this is a terrible angle for my fingers. Oh my god. We're really, we're a lot further away from the camera yeah. than it seems. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a zombie. <laughs> Here's my nail. <sighs> but um, I actually really love this polish, it's really thick, but glossy so it's good for beginners I feel 
Thank you. They think they look good. They do look good. You killed it. I'm so insecure about my nails. I'm not like Amanda. She doesn't need to be. I, I'm really not a fan of my nails either. That's why I like to have them done all the time. Because when they're bare, I just, I'm not a huge, huge fan of my fingers. But we have very similar hands. Not really. Kind of. I could really use a good cuticle oil. It's coming, sis. It's coming. I'm really so excited about it, but I really want it to be right. Like everything, not just the formula, but like the packaging and um, like all the branding. And I have one of my good friends designing my logo. So she's working on that now. We finally picked a name. I don't think I'm going to announce it just yet until it's official official, but it's a work in progress. Starting anything like that is a little overwhelming, but it's exciting. Yeah. They're not stubby. <laughs> they are stubby. It's fine. I'm used to it. Really Amanda not. has these like beautiful dainty nails. No, I don't. Yes, you do in no. your finger. Amanda, I like don't. I have knuckly fingers. <laughs> you do like not. You. No, 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 no. I can't believe I'm doing blue. It looks less blue at, like back here. It looks way more denim in person. What does mine look like back here? <laughs> Keep you tell. I like that color. It's like brick. It's like a brick almost. Yeah. Panna cotta, that's what it reminds me of. Or terracotta. <laughs> Panna cotta is the dessert. I know, that's the, the panettone. Oh, terracotta, that's it, like the roof. Oh my god, Millie, you look so cute. Thanks. You're being so such much. a good girl, Mama. You are. Lily's joining mm. our live for the first time. Lily's ever been on your live? No. Honestly, I think Dan's the only one who's ever been on. Dan. He's been a trooper with the lives. But I don't think he enjoys them as much. Lily totally is really calm. Well. Lily's calm. She just is she very, just it's just attachment uh, issues. She likes to be. She likes to be touching us at all times. Yes, on someone's lap or being carried. Oh, I love the blue. Do you? Yeah. I like it. It's bold, but it's good. I'm almost there. We have three more fingers and then a top coat. Is there an Olive and June top coat too? Yes. It's the round silver bottle. So I feel like this thing, there's a trick to put it on so the, the brush is facing the right way. Yeah, you have to finagle it so it's just right. Practice. What? Colors did you guys end up doing? I know I heard a few of them before. Nina Bittersweet is a great one. I'm excited for for that, Manny. I'm excited for you. What else do we got? What else do we have? Um, do you need to clean up at all? Because I brought the cleanup brush. Ooh, a gel French, a French Manny. Olivia, you're Ooh. ambitious. I wish we could see their Manny's too. Well... We can afterwards. <laughs> Send your pictures um, to the Manny Fam account or post them in your IG stories and tag me so I can repost them all and so we can see them. But at the Manny Fam, if you're not already a friend of the Manny Fam, that's like where I get to talk all things nails. Hi, Mama. Okay, I have two coats on. Wow, it looks so, so blue in the thing. Essie Eternal Optimist tomorrow, but I'm meal prepping while I watch you ladies. Oh, that's awesome. Ooh. Good for you. I need to meal prep. Me too. We're about to eat cheeseburgers. And french fries. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm starving. And this isn't making me, it's not helping my stomach much. Mm. It's making me more hungry. Oh, really? Your breast smells so bad. Mm. Poor girl. She's so little. Does Dark. anyone else have little dogs? I feel like little dogs have like really bad breath. There was the one Maltese. Oh, yeah. I love Maltese's. Me too. Uh, Jessica Simpson had Maltese's. Daisy. And no, wait. Maggie. Da Daisy was the first one. Well, Daisy was hers. Right. Oh, who does she? Maggie was. Ava has a little dog. So this is a cleanup brush. Do you need to clean up or not? Sure. So. Uh oh. Uh, I have Lily here. <sighs> Big dogs have bad breath too. Really? OPI, put it in neutral. Uh, I'm not familiar with that shade. 
OP, uh, OPI, oh gosh. Olive and June has a really nice cleanup brush that they send in their Manny kit. This was very, very helpful last week. I'm going to use it again today. Kat can use it too. I use it with 100% acetone. Put a little in the cap. And I'm going to put it over here so I don't knock it over. Do you know how to clean up your own or do you want me to do it for you? I don't know how to do it. So I'm going to clean up her nails. You just dip the brush in. This is blocking Lily. Gently we'll clear our spot. And don't get too much on the brush. Just make sure it's wet and then kind of let the paper towel soak up the rest. Wow, you really don't need much cleanup over here a little. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm like trying not to get mine. What's uh, the best way for me to do this? Yeah, that's good. And I'm just gonna lightly... Feels like an eraser, kind of exactly what we're doing just cleaning up the lines it's a really underrated step it makes a huge difference like if you flood a cuticle bed or you get a little on your skin it's a very easy cleanup what though sorry it's a little hard with I just had my nails done tonight. Say hi to Brazil. Hey, Brazil. What time is it in Brazil? Is that better? Yeah. I love Brazil. I've never been to Brazil, but I would love I to go to Brazil. Me too. Um, a little here. Wow, you did a really good job. Thank you. You really did. Oh. Maybe that one we need to just do the corner. Are you gonna do a mani kit with your cuticle oil, a line of polishes, or just the cuticle oil? I <laughs> I think the limit does not exist. <laughs> That's a great way to put it. We're gonna start with the oil because it's just a product that is really feasible to me. Like it's not too big of an undertaking. It's something I'm really passionate about. It's a unisex product. Um, I just love cuticle oil so much. Always have and would love to start there. But yeah, eventually. Um, polishes, hand creams, other kinds of uh, products as well, but definitely starting with the oil. But I also want to add a few things to my shop that are nail and not nail related, but we'll see. One thing at a time. I saw some things I'm guessing I wouldn't be proud of my nails. I always miss the how do you get into the habit of applying it regularly? I'm so bad. Cuticle oil? You have to make it accessible. <laughs> like you have to put it where you're gonna remember it and buy multiples. So like I leave one by the bed, I leave one in my purse, I leave one on my desk. Um, and anytime I have like, you know, a little downtime. Oh, I didn't clean mine up. <laughs> um, anytime I have a little downtime or- um, oh, I didn't do a top coat. That's okay. I like to clean it before the top coat or after I wash my hands, I remember to put it on then. Like anytime my hands get wet, like after they dry, you just have to remember to like rehydrate. So that's how I remember to do the cuticle oil, but hi cute doggy. <laughs> Lily, say hi. hi. If you want to follow Lily, she doesn't really gram much. My mom has an Instagram account for her. She is so well behaved. It is, what is hers? At the She's, real. Yeah. Lily. Chi. Chi. T H E R E A L I L L Y C H I. What does cuticle oil do for your nails? Cuticle oil uh -oh. keeps your nails hydrated. It keeps or it helps prevent hangnails. It helps cure hangnails. It just keeps your nail beds looking really, really healthy. Oh, Desiree. Hi, Des. Um, it just keeps your nails looking really healthy. And then everyone, you know, people like to cut their cuticles. Don't do that. Um, I find that when I use cuticle oil regularly, regularly, I never have to tend to my cuticles. So I won't have to clip them. I won't really have to push them back. It just keeps them really, really in great shape. I feel like I'm talking so stupid right now. It's been <laughs> such a long bit. All right, we are cleaning up and then moving on to a top coat. Wow, this cleanup brush is so nice. I love it. There's got to be a trick for this thing. Oopsies. It's really far up there. 
live videos are so much fun. They're fun. I love when you guys tune in. <laughs> They're way more fun when people tune in. <laughs> fun. You're fun. I'm not graded. Oh my gosh, it's so nice to be able to clean up. How did we do on this hand? How are you guys doing with your manis? You should do jealous strike a posy for your wedding. Oh, that's a great option. I would seriously consider oh God, that Lily, color. I think she's going to jump over to you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is not the circus, Lil. Come on. Don't see your sister. <laughs> we have wet nails. Come on. We're go pretty see, high up. Go see your sister. Good girl. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, did you good. smudge? No, we're good. Okay. Aw, thank you. Yay. Did you like that That's giant so top on the polish, the poppy? Did you like it? Um, yeah, it's just a little tricky. I think it probably takes a little practice. It's a little tricky because it changes the direction of the brush, but if the brush is in the right direction, I think it's helpful. Oh my God, Mama, sit. I'm so nervous. Don't put her on the floor. I'll let you do the top coat. What? I'll do. Do your top coat before I do my top coat. <laughs> Just take turns babysitting her. Okay, this color is really fun. I'm liking it a lot. Um, but yeah, strike a posy. That's a great option. Good suggestion. I'm thinking something along those lines. No, they. Like nothing totally sheer, like not a really sheer pink, but not a super opaque like Fiji. I don't want anything too bold. I don't know. Have you seen any brides with like a really bold nail? Or no? I don't think so. I bet there are. I'm sure a lot of girls probably do like black or like a deep, deep brown or eggplant or, you know, especially like fall, winter oh, weddings. Stay there. Oh, stay, mama, stay. But not my, not my thing totally. Luna's our brother's dog. She's doing great. She's Luna's so cute. Mama, sit. She's a little Australian shepherd. Mini, right? Mm. I can't read. Any tips? I don't know. Any Amy Lynn on YouTube did black. Oh, for her wedding? Yeah. That's cool. I think dark nails could be really beautiful for a wedding. Mm -hmm. um, especially if it's like a late fall or winter wedding. Yeah. I'm open to anything, but I think for my own peace of mind, I just want something neutral. I'm a little too. You're logical. I just, you know, something timeless. Do you want to go on your beanbag? I'm going to try to let her jump on the beanbag. Go ahead. Walk down. Oh, this is like. <laughs> Come on. This is hard. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. It's hard dropping a dog with. But nails, I just stopped cutting out my cuticles. Huh. Ah, it's wow. so much better to push them back. Like, you'll be... Stay. Good girl. There's this beautiful bean bag right next to the chair that if she just embraced it, she would be so comfortable. Um, I think I'm going to do a sesh beet top coat because this stuff is great. What a great day. I, we had like the most beautiful weather in Connecticut this weekend. Like truly perfect fall-ish weather, but still very comfortable. And I wish it would just stay like this year round. I feel like this is what California is probably like. Yeah. It's so like perfect. Is anyone um, in oh. California near the fires? Hazardous air in Oregon. Oh, oh Oregon's close to... All that too. What a mess. It's Awful. so scary. The pictures are just terrifying. It like looks like another world. It looks I, like Mars. I heard it was um from a gender reveal party. Yes. It's awful. It's so sad. If I was the person doing that gender oh. reveal party, <laughs> like what oh. happens to them? Do they get they must get like arrested? <laughs> I mean, like whole towns. That is irreparable damage. Like that is. That's bad. 
I'm from Long Island. Recently moved to Florida. I miss the fall weather so much. I know. Oh, I would miss it too. It's tough. But you have beaches and warmth. Florida definitely has its perks as well. I'm hoping like the pandemic oh, no. is stuck. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Mobile, Alabama. What's going on in Alabama? I've never been to Alabama. I want to get to some of the southern states. I really want to visit Utah. I know we talked about that today. And I really want to visit Utah. I have this um, map that I'm trying to visit like all 50 states before I'm 30. <laughs> How far? How are you doing on it? Um, you have a good amount. I have a good amount, but... 2020 didn't really help you. Uh... 2020 definitely didn't help. I did get to Texas though. That's true. Better than nothing. Is that your phone? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I we got to go to Aruba at the beginning of the year, which was such a nice, such a nice trip. I'm very grateful that we got to escape to that because if we didn't have Aruba, it would have been a long year. But we'll see what next year brings. Hopefully, we go on a honeymoon. Um, did you have any major plans canceled this year from Corona? Like, did you have any kind of big trips planned? Oh, Tina, I'm so jealous. You will have the absolute best time. It is the most beautiful place and we're both like dying to go back. It is for sure on a return, our must return list. Um, like such a great trip. There was no, ugh, there was like no bad part of it. And for us, it was a pretty easy I was going to come to America. Oh my gosh, Soph. Let me know if and when you ever do. I can't wait, hopefully. Yes, I hope it's gone too. But at least Aruba is accepting visitors right now. I heard you just have to get a corona test upon entry. And if you have a positive, or I'm sorry, if you have negative results, like you're clear of corona, you can wander the island freely. Um... But if you have a positive test, you have to quarantine for 14 days. But if you're in the clear, you don't have to wear masks or anything there, which is really nice. But yeah, I don't know. It's all so crazy. We're just trying to get through it. Everyone went back to school this week in Connecticut. It seems like most places in the country. They started their new form of school. Oh, no. Any specific beach to go to? In Aruba, Eagle Beach. I think it was called Eagle Beach. The Durant. I just... Did you smudge? Yeah. Ah! Okay, sm smooth it out and then... How do I smooth it? It happens to the best of us. So, like, lightly tap it with your... Finger? Yep. To kind of flatten it. Shoot. But all the beaches are gorgeous. Honestly, like... Clear Sand, um, Eagle Beach, and what was the other one? Baby Beach. Oh, Baby Beach was like, looked like something out of a movie. Face charges. Ooh. I mean, who? They, the gender oh. reveal people. Yeah, they should. They, they should. I feel so bad at the same time, but. But like, you could have done yeah. a cake. <laughs> you could have done Or that. confetti. Or a million other things like Not California fireworks. is so prone to in California in a national forest. Yeah, nope, just wasn't. That's crazy. I just can't even imagine being the person responsible for what's happening out there right now. Like, I... it's kind of scary. Okay, oh. we're almost there. I have two thumb top coats, and then I'm good. How are we doing on time? We're still under an hour. Nice. Does it kick you off at an hour? No. But I find that an hour is like the right amount of time. Why would happen? I got it stuck. Did you put the collar back on top? No, not yet. Here, let me see. It's kind of hard already. Wow. See, it like dries really nice. I would do like one stroke over it just to even it out. Oof. Yes. I remember the last gender reveal gone wrong. It's good to know. I will keep my There's fireworks. Nothing wrong with the confetti. Explosion. 
or yeah, or like you hit the golf ball or you hit the baseball yeah. or it's not fireworks. The balloons are nice. Oh, thank you. So that our nails, they love them. Um, how many top coats do you usually do? Usually just one, but like cats just smudged. So if I would smudge, I would do one more coat of color. Yeah, see like you're gonna, it's gonna completely disappear. Let it dry and then do one more top coat. Hi, Annika, welcome. I'm glad you made it. I meant to post on the Manny fam when we were going live and then I hit live before I did that. So hopefully everyone who wanted to join was able to make it. My mind is a little shot today. It's been a very long, but great Sunday. I'm just dead. Oh, Annika says, hi, Catherine. Hi, Annika. <laughs> uh, I try to wait as long as possible, but having a good top coat really helps. The sash and this out the door, I know I talk about these all the time, and the SE gel setter, they'll help your nails dry super fast. It's like a nice, thick, glossy dry. See, like, look, I just kind of smudged the corner. Wow, your nails look so good. You like it? Yeah. I broke my thumb really deep, so it's still catching up to the wow, square. Wow, it looks so good. My thumbs are a little uneven, but the gel setter is honestly such a good top coat. It's kind of expensive, but it's really, it's worth every penny. All right, so here's my blue, my, what is this called? Woman. Lights Lacquer Woman. <laughs> Well, man, it's like all caps. I like it. Yeah, they're great. They really do help. And honestly, this um, olive and yeah. June top coat is really good. Ooh, French French manicures for a wedding are like classic too. I think. Thanks, Karen. The blue is fun. We're going to Rhode Island, not this coming week, but the following week. So I might go back and do something a little more like. Like this for that trip but this week we'll go with the blue thanks so yeah it's very denim very fall I don't know it's a fun it's different I like to mix it up once in a while this thing. yeah and there's this little guy too I think this might thank help you, me thank get you. this thing out my short nails I like the darker colors I just feel more I don't know this will make a really good mani though I'm excited to photograph these they look more navy in person. I feel like they look brighter on. <laughs> what did you tell me? <laughs> this is my favorite beautiful <laughs> pusher. How did you break this? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> First and last invite to a manny. What I'm the heck? sorry. Did it get stuck? Yeah. Aww, and I was trying to okay. fish it out. I can do it when my nails are dry. I didn't think it was going to break. Don't worry about that. It's totally I'm fine. so sorry. Yeah, that's totally stuck in there. Okay, note to self. I'm so sorry. That was so... This is really strong, though. I'm shocked. I doing. know. That's so Did you get topic. this one from? Well, no, I just have too many ones. Totally Did fine. Did you get it from Olive and June? No, no. That's, I think you can get these on Amazon. I think OPI sent this way back when, but that was funny. Oh, no. I have to buy you one. Clean up brush. The cleanup brush I have right now today is from Olive and June, but... I have a bunch. I almost brought a couple others. They were from like a brush kit that I got at like TJ Maxx. There were a ton of little, any tiny little brush you have like that, if it's angled, if it's flat, like you can use anything. But the little brush dipped in acetone is such a good little hack. Okay guys, so for the poppy, you gotta be careful because I guess they can get stuck. If you push it down too far, it feels like, right? I wonder if I could push it out from the I top. tried already, but I feel like you have to do it with your nails are dry. Yeah, we'll wait. Ooh, the e.l.f. concealer brush. That's probably a really good hack. Best cuticle brush ever from the gel kit. Ooh, good to know. I really loved this one just because it was like such a hard plastic. But no, this is fine. It's actually easier to use smaller tools, in my opinion. She's so nice. Oh, thanks, Lily. She's so very beautiful skin. Aww. <laughs> it's like half ring light. Yeah. Oh. I have a huge set. Right and we're about to eat cheeseburgers and french fries, so that might not work well for our skin, but I'm so hungry. I wonder where they are. They must be close. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry about this. It's really not a big deal at all. Not at all. That cuticle pusher... Oh, this 
She says this one came from the Sally kit. It did? I'm, I think it came in an OPI package way back when. But maybe. That could be very Maybe likely. it's also in the... Yeah. Any of those hard pl plastic ones are really nice. Um, but there's one that I found on Amazon that's almost identical. I'll link it afterwards when I do all these links. So tonight I'll link the color cat did. I'll do the color I did, the top coat I did, this brush. French tips are really hard to do on your own. Normally I would put a cuticle oil on, but I don't have one handy. Wow, my nails are like totally dry. Yeah, Not dry enough are. to shove in than <laughs> this, but. Okay. Mine are pretty dry too though. Yeah. Did you do the top coat? Yeah. Oh, perfect. I, I Yay. finished the top coat. I just got it stuck. Your nails look great. Thanks. Don't you think it's a really glossy, like... Yeah. Doesn't it look super glossy? Well, and it's thick, which I like. Here, put them next to each other. So I used the Sechevite top coat, and Kat used the Olive and June. Yeah, yours look really glossy, too. They look kind of like gel. They do. And they'll last like gel. We'll have to give an update. We'll give an update on the podcast how long her nails last. Yeah. I think, yeah, we did. I'm glad we did too. Like totally different colors. That's fun. All right. So I think it's time to wrap this up. We're about an hour out. Are you guys done with your nails? Everyone's probably like all wrapped up. Thank you. I like the color too. Great. It's very fallish. It's a great late fall. Um, so I'll link everything we talked about and used below in a few minutes. Uh, check out our new Instagram, Imperfectly Polished. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like our new Instagram and new podcast. So hopefully Tuesday that episode will be up. We finished um, recording it, and it came out really good. I'm excited about it. Thanks for joining, Soph and Olivia. I never know what to say. I'm glad your nails are done, too. Uh, me, too. I feel like a new woman. I loved last week's Manny, but it's nice to have a fresh one for the week. If you like Sunday Night Lives... Give this video a thumbs up as well so I know. I think Sunday Night Lives are kind of cool. As much as I love Manny Monday, it's like nice to start your week. Like, aren't yeah. you excited to go in the office tomorrow with fresh nails? Yeah. It's like you feel ready. And then to... also, your nails will be done for your Manny Monday. Exactly. And then you can, like, gram your nails on Manny Monday. But this was fun. Thanks for joining me, Kat. Hey, thanks for having me. <laughs> Anytime. It was so nice meeting all of you guys. I know. I feel like I talk about you all the time. Yeah, this was so fun. Thanks, Rosa. Thanks, Karen. All right, everyone, have a great night, and I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> and there